Hello and welcome to the latest video update for the City of London Investment Trust. I'm joined by the Trust's Fund Manager, Job Curtis. Job, thank you for coming in today. So firstly, Job, there's a lot of talk at the moment about uh, the global economy slowing down and the possibility of recession in the near future. Firstly, is this a view that you'd agree with? Um, and secondly, you know, how do you factor these thoughts into your stock selection? Yes, there is a fair amount of evidence of a slowdown in growth globally. I think you can derive this from tightening monetary policy from central banks last year. So growth is coming off quite a good rate and is slowing down. It's too early to talk about recession. There's some good things going on in the economy. For example, in the UK, we've got fairly full employment. So um, we've got a record um, low level of unemployment. So that, that's certainly a positive. So I think the stock market tends to discount what is known. And so that can throw up opportunities. But within the stock market, there are going to be some companies that are more sensitive to economic growth and others that are more consistent. So, you know, it's also a question of finding a balance between, between the, the different types of stocks. In your latest monthly commentaries, uh, you've mentioned about some uh, new additions to the portfolio recently, which includes Mondi, National Express and Senior. Uh, what can you tell us about these companies? Well, t two of those stocks are quite cyclical companies, which I think are there's good, high quality cyclicals, which are a good opportunity. And in particular, um, Mondi is a paper and packaging company, and we're all using more parcels as we get our deliveries um, from. And they're the, one of the leaders in that area in Europe, and they've got a particularly low cost base. And, um, and they have access to their own forests, for example, which um, gives them an edge and that's sustainable because they sort of grow the trees, they cut them down. So uh, that's an interesting company, it bought it, in my opinion, an attractive valuation. And then uh, also Senior is an aerospace components company, which um, I think has got a lot of potential to improve its profits margins going forward. It's an international group sort of based in UK, but um, with operations in the States and um, overseas generally. So um, those are two sort of high quality cyclicals, I would say. National Express is kind of well known as um, bus and coach company in the UK, but actually it's got um, bigger operations in the US where it does a lot of school um, busing and also it's got a big operation in Spain where it's a leading bus and coach company. And I call that much more steadier. That's a 4% a dividend yield I bought it on and it's well covered by free cash flow. And that one is a kind of steady company. M most companies have an element of cyclicality, but it's quite a fairly low element, I would say, with National Express of, of the three of them. And did you need to exit any positions over the last few months? Yes, well, it's always um, shuffling the portfolio and tr trying to come out of the stocks which are fully valued or, or, or weaker what stocks. Or, uh, and in particular, we had a takeover bid from Manx Telecom, which is the Isle of Man Telecom company, small holding, but we'd held since its IPO. And so we sold that one and we sold Ped Dragon, which is a car retailer, um, and we also sold out Centrica, the utility. So, you know, we're always um, trying to um, re re refresh the portfolio. So, Joe, my last question uh, is regarding Vodafone, which you hold in the portfolio. Um, now, Vodafone obviously had to cut its dividend in May. What can you tell us about the company's decision to do this? And did it ring any alarm bells for you? Uh, yes, Vodafone is, is very frustrating. I mean, we all use our mobile phones much more than we ever did. And mobile data is exploding. You just sit on a train and everybody's you know, playing games or watching films or listening to music on their, on their mobile device. And yet the companies have struggled to capitalise on it. They have to invest very heavily. And as a result, I think Vodafone's dividend wasn't properly covered. So they made the correct decision to, to cut it. I had reduced um, City London's holding in Vodafone and we are actually underrepresented relative to the market average coming into it. But I think the company has got some very good assets. Um, it's not just UK, it's um, it's very big overseas. It's the number two in Germany and it owns not just mobile networks, but also cable networks. So it's got some very valuable um, assets and um, I think there's a lot of potential there, but it, it was um, the right decision to cut the dividend in my opinion for the company.